Hi Libra, welcome to your February 2018 love reading. It's Raina here. I just wanted to let you know that in February, the 15th to be exact, there is a solar eclipse in Aquarius. Aquarius is your fellow air sign and this is hitting your fifth house of romance. So a solar eclipse is a very powerful new moon, so you could be swept off your feet at some point in 2018 by a very important love affair or maybe a permanent love relationship. So that's cool. And I think that's the card right there that that is speaking to that, the Eight of Wands. Okay, let me gussy these up a little bit here. So when I get Nine of Swords, I automatically pick another card. That's just a rule I have. Okay. So, let us look at this. For the overall message, we have the Three of Wands. I get a strong Sagittarian thing in here. And if you know someone who is Sagittarius, a lot of um, Wands activity, which is fire. The other fire signs are Aries and Leo. And of course, Aries is your opposite sign. But this is the heart of the matter. So you are yearning for wider, wider, a wider expanse, an expansiveness in your life. And it could be geographical too. So this might be career related but you, you might be contemplating moving a far distance for your work. And how this would relate to your love life, I'm not sure, but it could simply be that you feel, maybe there's something inside of you that feels that that's where you're going to meet the love of your life. Interestingly, in the past position, we have the Eight of Swords, which is a card of self-limiting beliefs. So this is something that you have dealt with in the past, but apparently you are now more positive, Libra. I wouldn't be surprised, since this is a love reading, that you were involved with somebody that really brought you down, dragged you down, and made you feel like you were um, worthless. And that, or in some way, their demeanor was very depressing to you. So now you have this sense of possibility in your life. And it's like a breath of fresh air. And what's happening now is related, is related to the Eight of Wands, which can be fast-moving events. Things that, you know, like if it was a job offer, you'd have have to like pack your bags overnight and just be ready to go. But it could be even like relationships, something coming in out of the blue. And as I said, there's that um, solar eclipse that has that type of energy attached to it, which is just kind of like a wave. And it's a wave of change. And with solar eclipses, it's new moon type of energy. So new beginnings. And so this might be a very good period of time for you romantically, Libra, during February. The higher message is the Queen of Wands. So just as I said the Eight of Swords may be how somebody's words and actions left you feeling like you were oppressed, like you were trapped, like you were a prisoner. The Queen of Wands is feeling very um, good about yourself 
uh, confidence wise you may have gotten your mojo back and you feel like you can do anything and this is another card that's apparently associated with Sagittarius I associate it with Leo because of that sunflower which is uh, sun rules Leo and so you may be feeling like the sun has come out again in your life um, whereas before you were feeling a sense of darkness and this may or not may not be because you've met somebody new this may be just that you let go of a bad a toxic relationship but I have a feeling that with that eight of wands someone may come into your life could be a fire sign and sweep you off of your feet what crosses you is the magician card in the upright pos position the magician is about self-empowerment and you know self-reliance so I would say in the reverse position for love reading watch out Leo Leo <laughs> watch out Libra for any residual codependency issues that you possess because Libra does tend to have those you ruled the the seventh house of committed partnership in the in astrology and so you tend to be the type of person who gravitates towards relationships and you might feel a little bit like a fish on a bicycle when you're alone and you don't like that feeling so I would fight against not liking that feeling I would try to become friends with myself I once had a Libra man tell me that he did not like to be alone and I thought to myself "Uh oh not a good sign because um, being alone is part of being human and it's actually a very smart thing to do because especially for a Libra person so you can get to know what who you really are that you're not your identity is not reflected in another person where they are reflecting back to you who you are because that can very easily be what happens in a in a relationship that you have with another person you kind of may have a tendency to put all of um, the responsibility of that person defining you and you are responsible for defining yourself so the magician is about standing on your own two feet and in the reverse you know the challenge position here you may be doing really great in terms of self-concept but you still believe that you're nothing without a relationship so do not so resist those those tendencies to think like that if you are single so that you don't just accept the first offer that comes down the pike <clears throat> what uh, the advice or what may be coming in is represented by the temperance card which does connect to Sagittarius so there may be a Sagittarian in your future we are the best <laughs> type of people and definitely Sagittarians are very compatible with Librans just looking at it from sun sign perspectives um, fire and air go together very nicely but this can also be about you see how she is one foot in the water and one foot on land I don't even know if that's a, a female that might be a male um, angel one foot because I think it's Raphael I'm not sure one foot uh, on land and one foot in the water and that represents heaven and earth a spiritual and matter so uh, some of you Librans need to become more spiritual in terms of again embracing your solitude soul searching um, finding other things to captivate your attention besides being in a relationship and also um, from the spiritual perspective uh, the more that you read uh, appropriate spiritual texts that really talk about 
philosophy and consciousness, you understand that in relationship there still is are the individuals and that you have to you know no one else is is walking your path for you so relationships aren't meant to be a crutch in other words they're not meant to substitute from your from your own spiritual path and of course the earth part of this is keeping uh, down to earth not uh, flying uh, not getting carried away because the eight of wands could be you could suddenly be swept off your feet and you need to keep your equilibrium about you you are the sign scale so that's something that you naturally have an affinity for but whether you actually accomplish it is another story um the outcome is the, as I said, I'm not going to just pick this, Nine of Swords. Um, if you, you know, just like that Eight of Swords, if you were involved with someone who was actually a Swords, so for Libra, that would be, who would I think is the Swords most likely for you to be? Well, I don't know. I'll just say the other Swords are Gemini and Aquarius. And if that person was oppressive, really realize that they had a bad influence on you. Don't fantasize. If you're alone now, you may be thinking of the good times, but keep rem remembering every time that they caused you to have insomnia. Um, don't weaken your resolve if you've gotten away from somebody like that. And as a companion piece here or a punctuation mark I have the death card so it's saying this it's really over okay you're you're entering a new phase one phase is over with so move on with your life um, you may meet somebody new and you want to start over again but you still are thinking of that person you still have anxiety because Maybe that relationship gave you post-traumatic stress disorder if it was really severe, uh, depending on how that person treated you. So th that's another reason why I say don't be in such a hurry to get back into a committed relationship. By all means, date. By all means, uh, get to know someone. But there's no sense in jumping from the frying pan into the fire. Um, if the person really cares about you, they're not going to go anywhere. And they will be patient as you get your life together. So I hope that this resonated you with uh, Librans, at least in part. Remember, this is a general reading. So it is possible that you're like, I have no idea what this means. If you like a, a private reading and... When I, when I do a lot of my readings, including love readings, I'm incorporating, a lot of it is astrology, using your natal chart. And, and the tarot, if I use it at all, it's in a secondary way in those types of readings because I find that the, the, the tarot is very symbolic and so it's open to interpretation. Perfect for YouTube though, because it gives you more freedom to talk about what's happening. But... Um, I think that astrology is more helpful for me, at least, in private readings. But anyway, the link is below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. I wish you an awesome solar eclipse in your fifth house of romance, Libra. Take care. Bye.